going to quickly go over the ideas in Unit 4, Lesson 6, which is on page 151 of your book. So here we're reviewing the concept of a pictograph, which um, we've done in second and third grade as well. A pictograph is a graph that uses pictures or symbols to represent data. The pictograph shows how many books five students checked out um, of a library in one year. So here's an example. Important to note that down here at the bottom there's the key. This little symbol equals five books. So let's go ahead and make a quick uh, count of all these different um, kids so we can see. So Naji did, if it's two groups of five, two times five, that's ten. This one, Tariq, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of five is thirty. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of five is forty. One, two, three, three groups of five is fifteen. One, two, three, four, four groups of five is twenty. So rather than having to draw like forty books, and because they all are multiples of five, they decided to represent each um, amount in these little pictures. So you can easily compare, um, and it doesn't have just a bunch of numbers as a little picture. All right, so we'll do a couple of these together and use the data to answer these questions. It says write an addition equation and a subtraction equation to compare the number of books Tariq checked out. We'll use T for Tariq to the number of books Jamarcus checked out. We'll use J for Jamarcus. So um, here we go. Tariq had 30. Oh, we're doing addition and subtraction. So, um, let's see, we could do Tariq equals J for Jamarcus plus 15 or Tariq minus 15 equals J for Jamarcus. And if you're wondering where I got the 15 from, I know that 30 minus 15, the difference is 15. Okay, now we're writing multiplication equation and division equation to compare the number of books Naji checked out. So Naji did 10 to the number of books Celine checked out. Celine did 40. So we can say C for Celine is equal to N times 4. Naji's type, so 10 times 4 is Celine's amount. Or C divided by 4 equals N as she is about. Celine checked out twice as many books as which student? Look at Celine. She had 40. Who had half of 40? Brooke. And number four, which student checked out 30 fewer books than Celine? Well, that one would be Neji. The number of books Don checked out is not shown, or Dawson checked out is not shown. If Jamarcus checked out 10 more books than Dawson, so quick comparison bar here. Jamarcus had more. The difference was 10. Dawson had fewer. We know Jamarcus had 15. 15 take away 10 is 5, so 5 <laughs> books. All right. You can do the same thing with a bar graph. Here, when you look at the bar graph, you got your title on the top, you have your categories or your people or whatever is um, being represented down below. And then the number that each bar meets at the end is the amount of home runs, in this case, that that person had. So we can see Fred had 18, Greta had six, Kim had two, Susie had eight, and Vaughn had 12. The lines are helpful because you can follow them all the way over. So write an addition equation and a subtraction equation uh, that compare the number of home runs Susie hits to the number of home runs Kim hits. So let's, Susie is S, she did eight, Kim is two. So Kim, which is two plus six equals S for Susie or S minus six equals M. Write multiplication equation and division equation that compare the number of home runs Greta hit to the number Fred hit. So Greta got 
6. And Fred got 18. 18 is a multiple of 6. So we can do Fred equals Fredda times 3. Because 6 times 3 is 18. Or uh, Fred divided by 3 equals Greta. How many more home runs did Vaughn hit than Greta? So that one is just um, addition and subtraction. So Vaughn did 12 and Greta did 6. 12 minus 6 is 6 more home runs. Which player hit 10 fewer home runs than Vaughn? Volvon did 12. Kim did 2. That's 10 fewer. So Kim. This year, Fred hit two times as many home runs as he hit last year. How many home runs did Fred hit last year? So this year is double of what last year was. So last year's is half of what this year's was. So last year, he had 18. This year, last year, he had nine home runs. All right, and then go ahead and write yourself a little sentence. Um, you can just write it down here that uses information in the graph and uses the phrase times as many. So for example, um, Fred had nine times as many home runs as Kim. There's a couple more examples you can use. All right, that's it for me today. Go check and see if you have an assignment and I'll see you next time. Bye fourth graders.